Lebanon is in the grip of a massive economic crisis that has prompted banks to impose draconian restrictions on withdrawals. The country's currency has lost more than 90 percent of its value on the black market in recent years, while poverty and unemployment have soared. People desperate to get hold of their savings have now taken drastic action. After days of pleading for access to his savings, Abed Subra took matters into his own hands. Armed with a pistol, he entered a bank in the Lebanese capital of Beirut and sparked a standoff that would last for hours. They said they don't want to pay. They don't want to pay and I'm not leaving until they do. They need to figure it out. Tell the guys they don't want to pay and I'm not leaving from here. The break-in was one of five so-called depositor heists across Lebanon on Friday alone. The country is in the grips of an economic meltdown, and strict limits on bank withdrawals have left millions unable to pay for basic needs. The crisis has thrown almost three-quarters of the population into poverty, and driven some to take drastic measures. Outside the bank in Beirut, Public support for Subra was clear. Should he go to jail because he needs to pay people while his money is locked in the bank? He wants what is rightfully his. He went into the bank. Good luck to him. We as Lebanese people stand in solidarity with anyone who has rights. After hours of negotiations, Subra eventually walked free, but without any of his savings. In response to Friday's spree of break-ins, all bank branches across Lebanon will close for three days, starting Monday. But with public resentment rising, it is unclear whether they will be able to tackle the root causes of the problem. For more, we're now joined by DW's correspondent in Beirut, Razan Salman. Razan, could you tell us a little bit more about what's at the root of these break-ins? Uh, good afternoon, Michael. I'm standing here facing one of the banks that were stormed yesterday in the Pyramid al Bayda area in the capital, Beirut. Michael, the economy is struggling so badly. There's a limit on how much people can withdraw from the banks. Yeah. Uh, for example, people suffering from underlying health conditions and others fighting cancer have no access, have very limited access to their bank deposits, and thus have no access to uh, uh, medical assistance. Uh, uh, the, the, the people's accounts have been frozen in banks for almost three years now. This is amid uh, a, phenomenon, a phenomenon of hyperinflation, a 96% devaluation of the local currency against the U.S. dollar. Uh, thus, the purchasing power, people's purchasing power, has shrunk dramatically. Uh, uh, and uh, the economic meltdown has led to 80% of the Lebanese population plunging under the poverty line. The World Bank has uh, has warned that uh, uh, economic calamity in Leb uh, economic calamity in Lebanon uh, is uh, one of the three worst uh, in the world in uh, the, uh, since the mid 19th century. Hmm. People clearly, clearly in distress there. Uh, again, starting Monday, banks will close for three days. But how else has the government reacted to this? Uh, well, Michael, the Minister of Interior, Bassam Maulawi, has announced that uh, uh, strict measures will be taken uh, after bank raids, uh, and he, uh, because uh, he considered uh, that uh, all of these acts are threatening national security. That's uh, DW's uh, correspondent in Beirut, uh, Razan Salman. Many thanks, Razan.